Let's get started, plenty to cover in this video. First, Bloody Hunter Yura can be found at this exact location. I'm not sure if you have to find him first to progress questline that involves Reduvia Dagger as a reward, but here is his location. He's going to be sitting next to the fire. For a Duvia Dagger and completion of said quest, we need to get to this point. To get to this point, we have to enter swamps, because swamps are directly connected to the ravine. I did it from this location, jumped to the swamp, got some ruined fragments. Not that I need any, but anyway, if you need some, here they are. Now go down the road and there will be an NPC invading you. This cave is where Patches is located but we are going to get to that later. After NPC has invaded you, Bloody Hunter Yura will also join the fray. Defeat NPC with the Hunter and quest will be concluded. Your reward is Reduvia Dagger. As for patches, we need to get inside this cave and get to the very end of it. Simply go forward, get to the chest, you are not going to get anything, it's at the end of the cave, it's just a mushroom, doesn't matter. And now head back. Upon heading back, gold mist is going to appear. Loot the chest in front and Patches will appear. Now here's the thing, if you kill Patches, Spear plus 7 will drop and that is extremely powerful early game weapon, one of the best you can get. However, if you don't kill Patches, then his quest will progress and you'll find him later on. I'm not sure yet where, but I'm gonna get to that point and do a guide when I finish the quest completely. For now, defeat him and don't kill him if you want his quest to progress. He's gonna beg for his life. Stop attacking. Well, finally come round, have you? <laughs> I knew you would. You're a man of reason. True and true. <laughs> Exit the cave and then enter it again and get to patches again. After that shop is going to be open and you can purchase stuff like stone sword key, cookbook and some other stuff. That's just few of probably many good reasons to keep patches alive. Then again you get spear plus 7 if you kill him and that is quite powerful early on. There is another chest in that cave but that's a trap chest. It is going to teleport you outside of cave if you open the chest, so there's no need to get that chest open. It's best to save it for later to see how quest progresses. Anyway, that is it. Thanks for watching. If you find this helpful, check description for subscribe star and Patreon links if you want to support the channel further. Thanks and stay tuned for more Elden Ring guides.